Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing with my vegan guide to Vienna. I will introduce next restaurant where you can get some delicious, lovely vegan food. It's the restaurant called Yam. It's a vegetarian restaurant that offers very many wonderful vegan options. The restaurant is located in the first district vis-a-vis -vis from the Vienna University. And if you have watched my Vlogmas, you might remember that restaurant from one of my Vlogmas episodes. So I will link the video down below. But before we dive into this wonderful, delicious vegan yumminess, I wanted to say a huge thank you for watching my last vlog. That was the vlog about my breast explant surgery. Thank you all so much for your wonderful comments here on YouTube and on my posts on Instagram. They meant the word to me. My recovery is going very well. I have documented the first week of my recovery and the vlog should be up probably this Sunday. And now, if you wanna know more about the restaurant Yam, about their pricing and about what they have and how it looks like, then please keep watching. You can get to Yam with streetcar lines 2D and 71 and also with the subway line U2. The station is called Schottentor and it is very close to the U3 station Herngasse. In the restaurant there is a, a buffet in the middle with various warm and cold dishes including soups and starters. Each customer gets a card on which they book their food. For the main dishes and salads, they have plates in two sizes. This is the big size. And obviously, since it's a buffet, you get your food yourself, except for drinks and dessert. The dessert area is definitely my favorite. Look how delicious everything looks. It is very easy to pick food as a vegan because all dishes are clearly marked. Once you fill your platter, you go to the scale, you place the card on the card reader, then you select the size of your plate, put it on the scale, weigh it, and then a ticket will be printed. You can take the ticket with you to your table. All dishes can be also purchased to go. In addition to their meals, Yam sells also some other products. For example, they have a nice variety of teas. Even though the place is quite big, it never feels too noisy. They always have nice background music that's also not too loud. So for me personally, it's overall a very nice experience. So the stuff that I have is a uh, pumpkin cooked in red wine with onions. Then I have here, it's called Muhammara mm -hmm. and Bulgur. And this is pineapple chutney and then I have here olives and a few fresh sprouts. And Jack has spicy noodles, then he has a pasta salad, then he has vegan antipasti, uh, like mushrooms and quinoa with peas and soybeans, right? And he also had a little bit of the pumpkin. As always, the food was very delicious. So my plate was 11.62, and Jack's plate was a little bit bigger. So his was 15.46 euros. That is, of course, a little bit more than when you go into a diner. Now we ordered the cake. So we picked mango lime cake. This is usually something I would not necessarily order because I'm more of the chocolate cake girl. But, of course, for the sake of this video, <laughs> I had to pick something that I wouldn't usually eat so that I can tell you how it tastes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is such a wonderful cake. That's reason enough to come here. This is the chocolate peanut butter cake. Obviously, both cakes are vegan, but honestly, this one always makes my day. It's just so creamy and chocolatey and yummy. And then there is the peanut butter middle. It's just... <sighs> it just makes me so happy. All right, so now let's take a bite of the mango tart or mango lime cake. Oh my god! This is actually very good because I expected it to be more mangoey and limity, if that makes any sense. But um, it's a raw cake and I feel like there are some nuts or something like that in, the, in it and it's just so good and creamy. So I can definitely recommend this one. And honestly, there is no need to explain 
that the peanut butter chocolatey cake is just heavenly. What do you think, Jack? I think you're not getting it. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's bad. That's a bad deal. I have to steal at least a little chunk. <laughs> give me, give me. So Jack just tried the key mango pie or tart. What did you think? I thought it was really, really good. Uh, and I don't actually even like mangoes that much because normally I find them too sweet. But this is very, very fresh. Well, that's a good feedback. Really good, yeah. Yep. So as I said, highly recommended. Here we have our bill. So we paid for the food that you have seen 43 euros 89. So Jack had uh, this, this carafe with um, club soda. It was 190. My ginger ale was 290. And um, one of the cakes, I think it was the raw cake, was 410. And the peanut butter chocolate cake was 390. Oh, and Jack had one extra small plate with some more of the lentil stuff and the mushrooms. So that was additionally 4 euros to his already 1546. One more thing I wanted to mention, I find that they have really nice and clean toilets, which is for me also always very important when I eat out. So overall, we had a great time, the food was really delicious, the pastry, like, it's just absolutely delicious. So far, anything I had there in terms of pastry was totally worth it, even though the price is quite high, but like, honestly, worth every cent. Jack just pointed out, especially because I didn't have to pay. <laughs> I personally find that Yum is quite pricey in comparison with the other restaurants that I have introduced. When you think that you actually have to get your food yourself and you have service only for the drinks. On the other hand, it's a really great concept if you wanna try out a few different options. I personally love the idea of being able to put my meal together with like different things. So for me, it's perfect, but it's definitely not a place where I would go way too often simply because of the price, but it's wonderful. I think it's a really nice place. Uh, the personnel is very friendly and the food is really great. So that is it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments. I will, as always, link the web page of the restaurant that I introduced today down below. And I will also link down below my playlist, Vegan Guide to Vienna. And if you want to know more about my breast explant journey, then I will also link down below the playlist that I dedicated to that subject. And as I said, the vlog about my recovery, recovery should be up probably this Sunday. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye.